Hey gang, Nicole here. A few weeks ago, the Articulate Weekly Challenge was all about building interactive organizational charts. This seemed like a super fun challenge, so I decided to take part and build out this interactive org chart. I got a few messages from people in the community asking me how I pulled it together, so I thought I'd create this quick video to show you just that. Here's an example of the finished product that I'm going to show you how to build in this tutorial. You can see a faint outline of the shapes in the org chart, and as you click the different items, new sections become available with a cool little animation. So let's see how this was built. I'm starting on a blank slide and I'm going to create the items for my org chart using shapes. So I'll start by adding a rectangle shape and I will style it a little bit. I'm also going to add some text to the shape and align my text. Finally, I'll pop in a pre-cropped photo. Once the item looks how I want it to, I am going to group the items together. Next, I'll copy and paste the shape a few times and lay them out to structure my org chart. So in this example, I'll have three rows in my org chart with four items in total. It's important to note that this is the step where you want to get your items in your org chart placed exactly right. Because of the way that we're building this interaction with multiple layers, if you decide later on to start moving the items in the org chart, you'll have to make updates to several layers and it can be a lot of tedious work. So because of this exact issue, I debated building out this interaction with states instead of layers, but that brought on a whole other set of complications, so the layers ended up being the easiest way to go. But just keep in mind that you want to have your placement pretty much narrowed down at this step. The next thing I'll do is create two slide layers, one for each of the additional rows in my org chart. I will name the base layer layer 1, and my two new layers are layer 2 and layer 3. I will copy the two items from the second row in my org chart and paste them on layer 2. Then. I will copy and paste the two items from the second row and the item from the third row, and I'll paste that on layer 3. Now that my layers are in place, back on layer 1, I will edit these items to make it look like the simple shadow or outline of the shape. So to do that, I'll get rid of the text and of the images, and I'll make the color light gray. So this way, they appear as light objects so the learner knows that there are more items in the chart, but they can't see the additional information until they click. So speaking of clicking, the next thing we need to do is set up a few simple triggers. On layer 1, add a trigger to the first group to show layer 2 when it is clicked. Then on layer 2, add a trigger to this group to show layer 3 when it's clicked. The next thing we'll do is add in our dotted lines that connect the items in the org chart. So on layer 2, we'll simply insert a few line shapes and I'll edit the weight and the style, and I'll place them where they belong. Then I will copy and paste these onto layer 3, and I will add one additional line. The final step is to adjust our timing and add some animations to this interaction to give it some pizzazz. So this takes just a few clicks. I'll open up my timeline so that I can see more objects first. On layer 2, I will adjust the timing for the line shapes and I'll add a grow animation to all of the objects. I'll do the same thing on layer 3 with the other objects. Now we can preview our example. There you have it, an interactive org chart built using simple shapes, triggers, and layers. Thanks for watching.